Okay. So we're back now and um, we are in our uh, HostGator account here as you can see. Now let me go back here real quick to our FileZilla and as you can see we have both files now uploaded. So we have our package file and we have our, our PHP file which is our we're going to do our install through. So and in fact if we go back here let's just refresh here you can see we have those files. So now that we're in our front end of uh, HostGator let's go down here and create a, uh, a database SQL database so that we can um, go ahead and get this install done. So just scroll down here and it, it it doesn't matter if you're using you know Blue Point or whatever hosting who's ever hosting your website there's going to be a place for your your SQL database and this isn't you know extremely scary but just follow along here and you'll see how we do this and basically it's giving me um, all of the defaults here um, that are going to come and yours is going to be different but this is how mine looks simply because of the way that um, I set it up in the very beginning and what you want to do is create a database so you want to give it a name and so whatever name you want and for this one we're just going to call this um, just going to call it WPress since um, that's what that's what's the new site I'm not going to give it the full name you can give it a full name or whatever you go ahead and just hit create it's going to create it's going to come out and tell you that it's created okay so we got that we're going to need that we're going to need that uh, later we're going to need to know that database name is WPress. Let's go back now and let's just move down here and don't worry about all this this other stuff here but we're going to have to create a user for it and I'm just going to use WPress you know you use whatever you want except for the same name obviously let's give it a, a um, password and I'm going to go back in and change this later. I'm going to create a user. It's going to tell us that we have a user created. Let's go back. Now let's go down. We have the database created. Let's go down. We have a user created. And now we need to add the user to the database. So let's go back and look for the user, uh, which we called, whoops, go down here and it should be see these are all you can see all the WordPress installs I have here is showing up here and it's going to be WPress 1 and then the database should be let's go down and find the database okay so there that is and again that's exactly what you just did the user that you gave it and then the database name that you gave it go ahead and hit add right there okay it's going to give you all of your credentials here so you might want to write those down or in this case we're just going to go ahead and copy these uh, not that we're gonna you know forget them but I'm just gonna go ahead real quick and put them in a notepad just to have them make sure you go in here and you hit all privileges and then make the change. Once you've done that it's going to kick you back. It should kick you back and say that everything's done. So essentially that's all you really want to do here. Okay. So now that you have all that done what we want to do is we want to go over here and we're going to run our install um, uh, PHP file. So go over to your domain and let's hit install. And it should go ahead and pull up this screen. This is the duplicator screen. Now here you can see we have our original URL, WordPress tutorial videos. Here's the package. Here's our original URL. Here's where it's going to, wpresstutorials.com. Now and again, if you don't have this here, you just hit this get and it should get it. Say for instance, this is where you would back up your system onto your desktop. You would give it a different name here um, if you wanted to back this up. 
but we're going to back this up to an actual new domain so there it is there the site title is going to be fine because it's not going to be a top level uh, domain so they won't get mad at me this is just going to be a title at h1 so it's not going to matter you want to make sure you hit delete the package after install um, you want to go down here now here's localhost you want to leave that the same now remember um, right in here you want to just you know give it a give it a name and we're just going to call it WPress and here because that was the name what makes let's make sure that was the name yeah that was the name we gave it let's make sure I'm gonna go in here no it, yeah it was WPress and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get my username which was WPress1 and then put in the password okay go over here and hit test connection let's move this up a little bit database denied for UWPress1 local using password okay hold on a second let's see what we did okay <clears throat> it looks like I need to put the full name with the underscore which according to here username and password I didn't do so now let's test the connection again okay validation successful please proceed so make sure you do it exactly as you put it in okay so that's fine so let's just close that go down here there's a you know warnings and notice let's go ahead and just check that here and say that everything's okay let's go ahead and do an install here it's going to say do you really want to do this blah 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 say yes we're going to hit OK. It's going to go through. It's going to check everything. It's going to tell us, yes, you did it. But you have to do some more stuff. And here's some important final steps. Uh, resave your permalinks. And it says, take me there. Let's click that real quick. And let's just see what we get here. Um, now, of course, you have your to log in and it should let us go in here to our permalinks structure and I like to use post name percentage post name so I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna save that let's go back here and what else does it tell us to do it says empty all cache and plugins which I'm not I don't see any that I need to empty right now um, it says delete the install.php file. Let's open up our FileZilla. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of do like this and move it over. Because it's telling us to delete the install.php. So here's our install.php is still open. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. It says delete the delete the install data.sql install log text and the package file well we know this is the package file here I thought I deleted that okay sometimes um, it looks like it's hesitating there sometimes you'll get this and you have to just give it a second let me delete that package file and it looks like it's deleting that it's trying to delete that and does have a bit of, of a lag time here it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh okay um, it says delete the install data.sql so I'm going to go down here and find that install data.sql. There it is. And I'm going to delete that. And install log text. I'm going to right click 
and I'm going to delete that and that's it so just a quick over just you know quick look see here again and I can see that I have all of those taken out so now let's go to the site and let's see what we get I'm gonna go up to the dashboard here and let's just go to the page because I know I'm gonna have to do a few tweaks but now as you can see here's our new domain and it looks like everything is here but I know I'm gonna have to go in and do some things because I know there are some things that are pointing to other areas and I, I think it's gonna be I'm sure it's gonna be within the members area because um, that's set up through another plugin which I'm sure I have to go in let's click it and see okay so it's giving me this but I have to go into the back end and correct this so that the members area is pointing to um, the W press instead of WordPress tutorials because we can go back over here to WordPress tutorials and you can see WordPress tutorials is still intact and everything is fine there and if I go over here to the new site you can see everything is here just a little cleanup so that is how you do a basically it's a clone and um, so you'll be able to put this to use as well if you remember and if you saw the first video on um, the one we did on installing uh, WordPress locally you'll remember that you can use these files now this file here let me go ahead and turn this off and your install PHP file keep these because you can use these now uh, this is a full backup and now you know how to do it you can always take this if something major major goes wrong and you can redo your site so I'm glad I got that out of the way it's a little hurdle and uh, you know uh, just a little adversity that's part of the part of the what we have to go through here and if you guys have read my book which you should have then you know how we deal with adversity we just trudge through it and do what we need to do so now we can finish on get on with the rest of the goodies so we can get stuff finished up see you guys in the next video